Hi, this is Dave from JavaCodeJunkie.com, and in this video, I'm going to download and install a new Java development kit that I've just found, one that includes JavaFX libraries. So stick around. So I think it was back around Java version 8 that Oracle decided that they were going to remove JavaFX from, from the core, and shortly after that, it went open source. Nowadays, when we download a Java development kit and we want to develop Java programs using the JavaFX graphical library, we have to do separate downloads of the JavaFX libraries and set those up in our projects or fiddle with the class path, which can be a pain. Recently, while surfing the internet myself, I've come across a Java development kit from Azul Systems called Zulu. And they have a version that includes the JavaFX libraries already built in, like it was back in the days before Oracle removed it. So let's take a look at uh, getting that set up. We'll open up our browser and we'll search for Azul Systems. Click on that first link, azul.com. We scroll down, you'll see in green here, it says download Zulu community. Now Zulu is the name that they have for their version of the open source Java development kit. So let's click on that. And then we'll scroll down. Now these are the Zulu community downloads and there are filters already applied in this. So what I'm gonna do is reset the filters and under the Java package combo box, we have a number of options, one of which is JDK FX. This is the Java development kit that also includes the Java FX framework library. So let's click on that one. Since I'm running my development environment on a Windows laptop, I'm going to download the 64-bit version for Windows. It's in a zip format. So let's click on that. We're going to download the zip file. Once the download has completed, we're going to open up the zip file and then we're going to give that a home on our hard drive. So the download has completed. Let's click on the up arrow, show in folder. It'll be in my downloads. And let's open it up. And we have a folder labeled Zulu 1331.11 FX Java Development Kit Win64. What I'm going to do is extract that to a folder on my hard drive. So we'll just take that file and we'll drop it at a known location on our computer. We'll just take a moment for that to uh, unzip to that location. There we are. Under that we have all of the files for this release. Now let's open up our Eclipse IDE and under the window menu item, click on preferences and then Java and then installed JREs or Java runtime environments. So this is where we see all of the Java runtime environments that are currently installed on our computer. So let's add the one that we just uh, downloaded. We'll click standard virtual machine, click next. So let's browse to the folder that we just created. Wherever that is for you. And then once we've selected it, click select folder, click finish. And I'm going to change the default JRE from adopt open JDK to Zulu. Click on the checkbox, click apply and close. And now let's just give that a test. Let's create a new test project. Click new Java project. I'll call it Zulu test. Use project specific JRE and it shows that Zulu is our default. So we'll use that. We could, if it was not the default, we could use a specific JRE as the default for this project. Let's click finish. And the project structure should be created for us. We don't need to create a module .java, just as an outline of the project itself. There are no files. So I'm going to create a new package, right click on the source folder, 
new package. I'll call that com.javacodejunkie. Hit enter. And then right click on that package that I just created. And we'll click new class. Class we're going to call main. And we're going to include a public static void main method. Click finish. To turn this from an ordinary Java program into a Java FX program, our main method has to extend the application object. So in the class signature, we'll add extends application. And voila, it already knows about the Java FX libraries. So we're way ahead of where we were before with adopt open JDK. So let's click on import javafx.application and then we have to implement the unimplemented methods which is our start method just do a little cleanup to get rid of those comments in the main method i'm going to launch the start method and this is where the magic starts for a javafx program so i'm just going to enter a few lines of code to, to just allow us to display a, a window on the screen in JavaFX to make sure that this is working 100% as it should. shift o to organize the imports and let's give it a quick run and see and there you have it java fx reintegrated back into the java development kit if you find this video has been helpful please hit the like button and i'd really appreciate it if uh, you'd subscribe to the channel just to receive more content i'll put a link to the zulu jdk with java fx in the description below the video i'll also post the code for this video and the test of the Zulu JDK on GitHub and the link will also be in the description below. Hope to see you in the future. Take care.